Michelle Galina and I'm here with Victoria Nice from the After Effects team. Victoria is the product manager for After Effects. Welcome. Victoria, what is it like to work on a product that's 25 years old? Yeah, so I've been using After Effects at this point most of my life. I actually was really lucky to get my hands on professional tools when I was in high school. And you're really always aware of the legacy when you're working on a product that has such a storied history. And it really is about taking that legacy and bringing it forward into something that is just a vital piece of everyone's toolkit for motion graphics and visual effects. In a lot of ways it's a huge honor to work on that, but it's also a little bit of pressure to make sure that it it's still around and still the tool of choice for the next 25 years. How are you approaching product management mm. on After Effects? One of our biggest focuses right now is on tools to make the stuff you touch every day better. I think it's really important to go back and say, this is the thing everybody cares about. Let's make that easier. Let's save people clicks so they can spend their time on their designs. So is there anything that you can share regarding <laughs> the next release that I have, is going to make a big difference? I have something I'm really, really excited to show. Uh, it's a new feature we're calling Master Properties. And I think it's going to transform the way people animate in After Effects, the way people structure their projects. How so? Uh, the way it works is, uh, so in previous release, we introduced the Essential Graphics panel, which not only lets you create motion graphics templates for use in Premiere, which is a great way to collaborate with editors, but it lets you choose the things in your project you care about the most and gives you sort of a high level overview of them. So this release, we're going one step further and we're taking those properties and we're showing them to you in the timeline. You nest that composition inside another composition and those properties, keyframes and all, it's gonna show up right in the timeline. You can edit them in context and even more powerfully, you can reuse that composition again and again with different settings on every single one of them. So you can create separate instances with totally different looks. You can create a whole title sequence where you've got one comp with your text settings and it'll just carry through. It's incredibly powerful. What's user feedback so far? Uh, user feedback's been really strong. Uh, everyone we've shown this to has been thinking about all the different ways they can use it. Saves having to open up like 15 comps. Yeah. Deep and yeah. <laughs> yeah, this kind of flexibility just frees more people up to do more creative things, so it's perfect. It's just a, a great feature that not just us, but a lot of people are going to use. Victoria, this has been awesome. Thank you so much for your time and showing us what's coming and what's Thanks. going on in After Effects. And thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you. I'm really excited about this release. <laughs>